أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين إمام المتقين قائد الغر المحجنين مولانا ومولى الثقلين سيدنا أبي القاسم محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه وذريته الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله رحمة للعالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This, uh, mashallah, Sheikh Sadiq uh, Batan, Allah bless you, for inviting us to, and uh, for thinking of making a gathering in honor of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Al-Makanu bil makin, as they say, that the place is according to those who inhabit it. And the, the gathering's honor is according to the one whose name is mentioned. So when we come to gatherings where Allah's name is mentioned, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Prophet's name is mentioned, then that gathering, that doesn't matter, there's 50, 10, 100, 1,000, 2, 3, it doesn't matter. But those who are coming to that event, they become also honored. بِذِكْرِ الصَّادِحِينَ There's the effort that تَنَزَّلُ rahma. That when you mention the pious ones, that mercy comes. And that's what about mentioning the Sayyid of Salihin, the Imam of Muttaqeen, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. What do you expect? What do you expect from honoring the one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted all the angels Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala بدأ بنفسه إن الله وملائكته as Sheikh Sadiq was mentioning he, he started with himself subhanahu wa ta'ala ثم ثنى بملائكته then his, he, he, his angels and then that all of you make salawat on Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam all my angels order to be praising Sayyid al-Mursaleen. Yani, nahna, we, we live at a time, I, yani, it is the second age of ignorance because no one can deny or doubt this. Yes, we have technological advances and we have, uh, we have uh, all kinds of gadgets, but our as our physical and material world is being built, our spiritual, our spiritual connection is being depleted. So the soul for this religion is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu No one can deny the, the role he plays in the spiritual life of a Muslim unless they are blind and deaf. Um, the obligation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Prophet sallallahu equating Iman with Mahabba. Of him. Not Mahabba, he could have said, لا يؤمن أحدكم صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه حتى يكون الله أحب إليه من والده ولده والناس أجمعين يعني Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if he, he plays no role in our spiritual life, in our connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then what is the importance of loving him, loving Prophet more than our parents, our children, more than ourselves, more than everything? If it's, if our connection bypass the importance of Prophet in Islam and in our lives and in our practices and in our uh, dunya and akhira then he prophet wouldn't have said la yu'min ahadukum hatta akuna ahabba ilayhi min walidihi wa waladihi wa nasi ajma'in that all oh, my ummah take take pay attention to this point that you are not a believer unless and until I am dearer more beloved to you than your own parents and he mentioned in this hadith, in the Sahih hadith, he mentioned three things, parents, children, and all of humanity. In another hadith with Sayyidina Umar, he even, Sayyidina Umar said, I love you more than anything, إِلَّا نَفْسِ اللَّتِي بَيْنَ جَنْبِ Except myself. 
And Prophet ﷺ said, لا يا عمر. No. Means you have not reached that Iman yet. Then Sayyidina Umar, رضي الله عنه وأرضاه, تدارك. He thought about it and he said, of course, I love him more than everything, even myself. I will give myself for him uh, without a flinch. So he said, by Allah, I love you more than myself. He said, Al-Ana, ya Umar. Now you're Iman. Why Muslims, we go over these hadiths, we listen, but we never really think, why is it important for me to love Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, to have real faith? That is a very important question. يعني, قالت الأعراب آمنا. أعراب, the Bedouins, they came and they say, we are believers, we are mu'min. Station of Iman. And the Holy Quran says, قل لم تؤمن ولا قولوا أسلمنا ولما يدخل الإيمان في قلوبكم. You say Allah Subhanahu wa Taala teaching His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to tell them that say you you are not a believer. بل قولوا أسلمنا ولما يدخل الإيمان في قلوبكم. Say أسلمنا. Say we are Muslim. So distinction between Islam and Iman is clearly stated in the Quran. نقلا. No one can deny it. No one can mishmash and mix and say Islam and Iman is all the same thing. All Muslims are mu'min. No. Quran is saying no. no. Islam is something. Iman is something. And then your Prophet is clarifying that your Iman depends on your relationship to Prophet ﷺ. Our state of Iman, which is the spiritual state, because Islam, prayer, fasting, it's all it's all discipline on our physicality, on our body. Fasting, Hajj, these are the five pillars of Islam. But the six pillars of Islam, are, of Iman, are something else. They pertain to the heart. They pertain to the belief in ghayb, in unseen. So that state, to have a, a state of Iman, depends on your relationship to Muhammad Rasulullah Unless and until that love is real between you and him, that respect is real between you and him, that veneration, that honoring between you and him is real, then your state of the, of the heart, you may be a Muslim, but you may not be a mu'min. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Holy Quran uh, stresses this point uh, in another verse, قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ آبَاؤُكُمْ أَسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ Holy Quran says, say, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, tell them, إِنْ كَانَ آبَاؤُكُمْ وَأَبْنَاؤُكُمْ وَإِخْوَانُكُمْ وَأَزْوَاجُكُمْ وَعَشِيرَتُكُمْ وَأَمْوَالٌ اُقْتَرَفْتُمُوهَا وَتِجَارَةٌ تَخْشَوْنَ كَسَادَةٌ وَمَسَاكِنُ تَرْضَوْنَهَا أَحَبَّ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِ وَجِهَادٍ فِي سَبِيلِ فَتَرَبَّصُوا حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ اللَّهُ بِأَمْرِهِ وَاللَّهُ لَا يَهْدِي الْقَوْمَ الْفَاسِقِينَ يعني الله سبحانه وتعالى even expanded on the list you know, it's your parents, your children, your brothers, your wives, or your husbands, your tribes, and uh, villages, and uh, cities, and whatever, and countries, and nationality, and whatever it is, and your, your wealth you, you, that you gained, that you earned, your, your, your uh, buying and selling, you know, your uh, business, that you worry that your homes that you are attached to, that you build in this dunya, all of this, if it is more dear to you than Allah and his messenger. And struggling in his way, then this is the, this is the, the, the clear, clear uh, nadir, the clear, 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 yani, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning. فَتَرَبَّصُوا We say, wait. If, if in your heart, dunya is there, your love of, of family, your love all supersedes and exceeds the love of your Nabi, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then wait until Allah's order comes. Wallahu la al qawm al-fasiqeen. It's not something small, my dear brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calling those who lack that love, qawm al-fasiqeen, corrupt ones. Allah save it, Allah ma'afina. So, 
it is important to have nowadays more than ever to call people to uh, come and spend time uh, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad spend time learning learning about our Prophet knowing our Prophet uh, teaching our children about Prophet Muhammad because if you instill the love of Prophet in the hearts in your hearts and the hearts of your children then you have open your heart to halawa to iman to the sweetness of faith then your your religious life your islamic life is not is not just a bunch of things that are just mechanically done without taste without halawa without sweetness you need to have that relationship with prophet we all need it salawat rabbi wa salamu alayh that is why people come to gatherings or they call for salah ala nabi or they venerate and respect the mawlid of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, people sometimes get a bit hang up on 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 mustalah la la mushahata fil istilah there is no uh, uh, argumentation arguing about mustalah about the, the 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 words that you use you, people people sometimes you know in their heads and minds they have something of maulid don't call it maulid call people to learn about your prophet call people to learn about uh, to send salawat to to imtithal al-amr to obey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and 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 make salawat upon his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam call people to um uh to to be in the company of those who have better understanding about your Prophet Sallallahu and that they can teach you something about him that will increase that love in your heart and in the hearts of your children and the, and the, the community. Because that gift is, is, is the gift of Iman. So I think, I don't know how much time CD I have. I don't know how much time. Sheikh, more? Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad hatta yirda. So just to give you a, a uh, summary of some of the things about your Prophet that we all need to know. That your Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his qadr is much more than we can ever estimate and guesstimate. Um, there's really no limit to how much Prophet Sallallahu is honored and praised, not by anybody, not by shu'ara, not by poets, not by uh, writers, not by scholars. All of them add all of their uh, writings about uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about his greatness, about this. All of that is a drop in the ocean of how his Lord described him. And it has, just take for example, Sa'id Billah, wa inna ka la ala khuluqin azim. What poet can, can describe? What limits can you put on that verse? Verily, my beloved, you are upon a tremendous, a magnificent character. That your character is magnificent. Your character is. Um, tremendous I mean for lack of words we don't really know what because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ta'kid wa innaka verily like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is confirming and affirming that my beloved you have a tremendous character Tayyib the one who's described him is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khaliqul akwan Allah yani you, you look at his creation we haven't even seen a a one one in a gazillion of Allah's we don't know anything about it we just look at the sky and you see the magnificence of that creation and this is this is the sama al dunya this is only sama al dunya we haven't seen anything beyond it and that lord who created who's able to say to anything kun fayakun subhanahu wa ta'ala who is able to create anything by kun fayakun he is telling his beloved, you have a magnificent character. 
Uh, what limit can you put on? Think about it. How much? How much? How much is that character magnificent? How much is his 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 manners perfected? If Allah is describe him this way. What about the verse? وَصْبِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبِّكَ فَإِنَّكَ بِأَعْيُنِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. He said, be patient with Allah's uh, orders. You are إِنَّكَ بِأَعْيُنِينَ You are under our gaze. You are, يعني, the, the literal translation is, you, you're always under our attention. But who can describe it? People, you say, oh, this poet are ex excessive and this poet excessive. What excessiveness? Excessiveness over verses like this? What about, وَمَا رَمَيْتَ إِذْ رَمَيْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ رَمَى وَمَنْ يُطِعْ الرَّسُولَ فَقَدْ أَطَاعَ اللَّهِ وَالسَّعِذْ بِاللَّهِ What about those verses? What about, Whoever obeys Prophet obeys Allah. What about whoever? Ya, ya Rasulullah Allah is telling him, you, when you threw in that battle, when you when you took the, the hasa and you threw it, the, the little pebbles and stones, you were not the one who was throwing. So a person, if, if any person says that, they'll accuse him. What are you saying? Allah is saying it. We have to think, Muslims, we have to think. We have to think that we haven't begun to understand the Qadr. We haven't begun to estimate the estimation of Prophet Sallallahu Qadr to his Lord. When you go to heaven, every gate of heaven says Muhammad Rasulullah. Who is that Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu on, on the on the on the pillars of the arsh muhammad rasulullah fi al jinan muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayka ya sayyidi ya rasulullah ya rahmatan lil ya shafi'a al mudhnibin ya ghayat al ghamam think we have to know before non muslims they're non muslims they don't accept uh, our religion they don't accept our prophet they don't think he's prophet at all even so <laughs> If they say this or they say that, it doesn't, it shouldn't faze us. They don't know anything about him. Whoever they're describing, whoever they're drawing or painting is, is their own manufactured imaginations and, uh, sorry to say, uh, garbage that's coming from inside of them, projected onto papers or projected. They don't know. They don't accept. But what is our, our, uh, duty as Muslims when we don't even understand the qadr of our Nabi when we don't even know his magnificence when we don't even know لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ بَعَثَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِّنْهُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to you O Mu'mins that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has manna Allah gave you a gift a minna a ata and when Allah gives a gift, He gives according to His grandeur, according to His greatness. He's given a gift to the believers. That's called Muhammadun Rasulullah. He is a Rahm al Muhdat. He is your gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And He is the most precious gift. So we have to wake up. We have to wake up and, and, um, Reignite our spiritual life by building a relationship with our Prophet ﷺ, by increasing our knowledge to him, uh, our um, our love for him. That is your way for halawatul iman. Thalathun man kunna fihi wajda halawatul iman. Thalathun man kunna fihi wajda bihinna halawatul iman. Three things. If if found in you, this is hadith sahih that. If you have three things, and Sayyidina Anas radiallahu an, you will taste the sweetness of faith. The first one of them, and yakun Allah wa Rasulahu ahabba 
That Allah and His Prophet is more dear and beloved to you. His Prophet is included in that verse, in, in that hadith. His Prophet is included in the verses as well. Of mahabba, that, that, that necessitates the life of your heart. Without that mahabba, we're in danger of living a sterile spiritual life. Yes, we do the prayers, we, we acknowledge, but we don't have... We don't have that sweetness. We don't have that wajd. And this comes with love. I can sit here and tell you, talk to you about this uh, till the morning, but I think uh, it is, uh, we are on a short uh, time. So I think I'd like to recite maybe an ashid or, or two, if there's time. You you tell me what time it is. Keep on going, keep on going. Keep on going. <laughs> keep on going. <laughs> How much time we have? As much as you want, as much. Bismillah. <laughs> <laughs> so, am lam ya'rifu wa sta'idh billah. Holy Quran says, am lam ya'rifu rasulahu, rasulahum fahum lahum munkirun. That verse came down to in the kuffar of Quraysh. Is, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking in the Holy Quran, is it that they don't know their messenger so that they deny him? They deny he is Rasulullah. But that also verse, if we deny his status, if we deny his makana, if we deny his role, we're also denying Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, as Muslims. Yani, how we're going to go into Akhirah? How we're going to go into Akhirah on, on, on Judgment Day in the presence of Prophet on the day when we will be running to him to ask him to intercede for us if we deny his maqam and his qadr? And so that yeah, we, we don't uh, speak too much uh, longer, I just leave you with this before and we will recite an ashid. How to love Sayyidina Muhammad? Yeah, you need to love him to have a spiritual life. Taib, how to do it? How, how can we? The answer is in Sayyidina Ali's Hilya description. Anhu, he said, Man ra'ahu badihatan, habahu. Prophet ﷺ, whenever people met him for the first time, for the first instant, because he was mu'ayyad bil he was when, when he when he came sometimes, people were so uh, felt his so much under so much majestic presence that they thought he's coming with a whole army and he'd be by himself. So when sometimes they would go into his presence, that hayba, that majesty of Prophet, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed on Prophet sallallahu would make them shake like a leaf. They'd be so afraid and terrified to be in his presence because they've never felt anything like that before. They've never been in the presence of a human being like Sayyidina Muhammad They've never experienced that. He's the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Khalifatullahi fi ardih yani. Huwa al-khalifa yani. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dressed him with the full khilafa because he's the last messenger. No, they haven't felt that. So when they come to his presence, he would come, they would they would be shaking like a leaf. He would say, Hawin alayk, hawin alayk, or hawin alayki. Innama ana abdun. He would say to them to comfort them, to ease them. They take it easy. I'm just a servant like you. I, I sit like the servant sit and I eat like the servant sit. Well, don't worry. But Sayyidina Ali said, وَمَنْ خَالَطَهُ مَعْرِفَةً أَحَبَّهُ And the one who mix, the one who spends a little bit of time with him, falls in love. So the way to love Sayyidina Muhammad is to get to know him because it's that simple. Because you as a human being, we love perfection. We love perfect character. We love goodness. We love humility. We love generosity. We love uh, honesty. We love all these perf perfect, perfect things. We love beauty. So all you have to do is know 
about these things. Know that these things were all perfected in your Nabi. Learn them. And you will fall in love with him. And another advice, easier even is to spend time with those who love Prophet Awesome. So if you find Ahlillah, if you find pious people, that you see that they have ishq, they have love, they have for, for your Nabi, be with them. That's that's because because from from the signs of mahabba is that a person when he's in love, yukthir min dhikr al habib. That when you're in love, you you he's in he's in your heart, he's in your mind. Prophet sallallahu dhikr. So every time you're speaking about him, every time an instance comes, you say, "Oh, my habib, my habib." There's a story about him like this. My Habib, there's a hadith about him like this. My Habib, there's a matter about him like this. So just spending time with Ahl al-Mahabba, you learn so much about your beloved Prophet Sallallahu May Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala grant us real Mahabba, real ishq of Sayyid al-Mursaleen, Imam al-Muttaqeen. Subh'ana Rabbika Rabbil Aizati Amma Yisifun Salaam 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 Rabbana Tqabbal Minna Bisiri Surat Al-Fatiha. اللهم صل على المصطفى اللهم صل على المصطفى حبيبنا محمد عليه السلام حبيبنا محمد عليه السلام عرفت الهوى مذ عرفت هواك عرفت الهوى مذ عرفت هواك وأغلقت قلبي عمن سواك وأغلقت قلبي عمن سواك وبت أناديك يا من ترى وبت أناديك يا من ترى خفايا القلوب ولسنا نراك خفايا القلوب ولسنا نراك اللهم صل على المصطفى اللهم صل على المصطفى حبيبنا محمد عليه السلام حبيبنا محمد عليه السلام أحبك حبين حب الهوى أحبك حبين حب الهوى وحبا لأنك أهل لذاك وحبا لأنك أهل لذاك فأما الذي هو حب الهوى فأما الذي هو حب الهوى فشغلي بذكرك عمن سواك فشغلي بذكرك عمن سواك وأما الذي أنت أهل له وأما الذي أنت أهل له وأما الذي أنت أهل له فرفعك لي الحجب حتى أراك فرفعك لي الحجب حتى أراك The love of Muhammad and his family is my true religion, my reason to be my true faith, Iman. My reason to be, and if when I die my sins are too many, the love of Muhammad will rescue me. The love of Muhammad will rescue me. Allahumma salli ala al-Mustafa. Allahumma salli ala al-Mustafa. Habibna Muhammad alayhi salam. Habibna Muhammad alayhi salam. 
محمد أشرف الأعراب والعجام محمد خير من يمشي على قدامي محمد بسيط المعروف دامعه محمد صاحب الإحسان والكرام محمد تاج رسل الله قاطبة محمد صديق الأقوال والكلم محمد ثبت الميثاق حافظه محمد طيب الأخلاق والشيام محمد ونرويت بالنور طينة محمد ثابت الميثاق حافظه محمد رويت بالنور طينة محمد لم يزل نورا من قدام محمد حكيم بالعدل ذو شراف محمد معدين الإنعام والحكام محمد خير رسل الله من مضاد محمد دين حق قلنا دين به محمد مجميلا حقا على عالم محمد شكره فرض لأنفسنا محمد شكره فرض على الأمام محمد ذكره روح لأنفسنا محمد زينة الدنيا وبهجتها محمد كشف الغمة والظلام محمد سيد طابت منا قبوه محمد صاغه الرحمن بالنعم محمد صفوات الباري وخيرته محمد طاهر مسائر تهام محمد ضاحك للضيف مكرم محمد جاره والله لم يضام محمد طابت الدنيا ببعثتي محمد جاء بالآيات والحكم محمد يوم بعث الناس شافعون محمد نوره الهادي من الظلام محمد قائم لله ذو همام محمد خاتم للرسل كله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الأخرين I don't I think we're past the time now اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد بارك الله فيك سيدي الحمد لله الحمد لله سيدنا الحمد لله الله طول عمرك ويزيك الخير والعافية ويزيد فضلك الله يكرمك يا رب إن شاء الله الله يزيد فضلك ويرفع درجاتك في الدنيا والآخرة ويحميك و... جمع إن شاء الله إن شاء الله إن شاء الله يصلح إن شاء الله يعني يعني بالك دائما يا رب جزا الله عنك يا سيدي بارك الله فيك سيدي الحمد لله وي الله يكرم يا سيدان we have had a great journey in this last hour listening to our beloved teacher and a truly inspired Sheikh of our country and Alhamdulillah we're honored to have him here we stole him from the United States of America we are grateful that the United States <laughs> so <laughs> we are happy that you're with us Alhamdulillah um, inshallah ta'ala I just wish a wonderful lady who was my supervisor from Jordan and she used to go to Makkah to Karama to perform Allah but she would never visit the Prophet Salam to the Prophet so when I she said you know I've been to Umrah four times but I never went to Medina yet and I said I said <laughs> The one who performs Umrah is great. You see the Jalal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But surely you want to have the Jamal of all creation. 
as part of your journey as well. And I said, you might get the Two weeks after I spoke to her, and she her, my eyes started to learn how to cry again. Yeah. Allah. She said, and I, she didn't leave Medina. She said she understood that the way to, to truly submit to Allah, you have to submit to the teachings of our beloved Master and our God, yeah. Al Hadi, Sayyidina Muhammad. Sallallahu May Allah bless my, my, one of my great teachers also from the university. And you, my great teacher, thank you very much That's for nice. inspiring us all. You, uh, with your blessed, uh, your blessed presence, if you can make dua uh, in closing, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa afdal salati wa atamu taslim ala sayyidi al-anbiya wa al-mursaleen. إمام المتقين مولانا ومولى الثقلين سيدنا أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد تنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم استسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله في كل لمحة ونفس بعد كل معلوم لك اللهم اجعلنا بالصلاة على حبيبك من الفائزين وعلى حوضه من الواردين الشاربين شروة هنيئة مريئة لا نظمأ بعدها أبدا وحشرنا معه يوم القيامة غدا اللهم اجعلنا لألائك ذاكرين ولنعمائك شاكرين واليوم لقائك من الذاكرين وأحيانا بطاعتك مشغولين وإذا توفيتنا فتوفنا غير مفتونين ولا مخذولين واختم لنا منك بخير أجمعين اللهم اكفنا شر الظالمين يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعل هذا النبي الكريم لنا شفيعا وارزقنا به يوم القيامة مقاما رفيعا اللهم اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمع مرحومة وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل بينا شقيا ولا محروما اللهم نسألك حبك وحب من يحبك وحب أحب الناس إليك سيدنا محمد أحب الخلق إليك صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم اجعل حبه أحب الأشياء إلينا يا رب العالمين في هذه الدنيا وارزقنا اتباعه ومحبته وإطاعته وأحينا متمتعين بسنته وطاعته يا رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد واشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين وارفع الغم عن, عن أمة الحبيب وارفع الكرب عن أمة الحبيب ونور قلوبنا بمحبة الحبيب وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم عن ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المسلمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة بارك الله فيكم مشرفنا بارك الله فيكم سيدي هذا فضل شرف لنا